have you noticed? Been starting the vlog later. Last like really last like, week. Just been busy during the day. So the workday is done. It's about 5 p.m. and uh, just starting the painting on the house. I told True Love that I wanted to get this done within a week. That's the goal. So gotta continue onward. what I'm talking about. All right, question of the day. What makes you smile? Hmm? What makes you smile? My answer would definitely have to be, I just love, I must say, taking care of my house, taking care of my land, taking care of my home, where my family lives. I love it. And if I didn't enjoy it, I'd probably be a very miserable person because as you can tell, I do it a lot, whether it's the yard or the painting or what have you, or planting flowers for true love. So it's like, what makes you smile? It could be something small, it could be you know, coffee. What is it, what makes you smile on a regular basis? Let's just put that in there too. All right, let's continue on. Clouds should be clearing in Georgetown. I'm hoping to run two 14ers tomorrow morning, uh, getting ready for that race, the Pikes Peak Ascent on August 21st. So just need to get into that high altitude. Um, so I want to zip up early. It's only a 55 minute drive from Denver. So I should be able to get up and down and be back for work, you know, by 9, 9.30, hopefully. That's the goal, that's the goal. So, checking the weather, looking like it's gonna clear even though it does not look good right now. And um, let's pack. And I'll show you my new shoes, my new shoes. Got, all right, well here we go people. The night is quickly escaping. The day is done once again another beautiful day on this green earth, but uh, time for the shoe reveal remember ah, let's do a little flashback. All right got my war paint ready flashback to opening the box two days ago, which I did not put in the vlog until now That was me opening the box that arrived in the mail. Thank you, shout out to Running Warehouse. I like them a lot, Running Warehouse. And I know I like to support like running shoe stores, but uh, we actually don't have very many close by. Here we go, need some war paint, war paint for this. Okay, basically in college, I had nine, nine stress fractures, nine here in running and yes, I ran 
on some stress fractures in a um, very important race. So I'll have to tell that full story at some point. Listen, I'm not afraid to share it. I'm not afraid to share it. Okay, so because of those stress fractures, I had to switch to a new brand of shoe that provided more cushioning, more support. What company is that? Ooh. Hoka. Hoka, Hoka, Hoka. Ooh. Thumbnail, thumbnail. So basically, Hoka is known for being having a ton of cushion. See how thick that sole is? Basically, it provides a lot of, I wouldn't necessarily call it support, but a lot of cushioning to soften the blow. And a lot of long, long distance runners like Hoka, H-O-K-A, because it provides comfort and cushion while you're running. And guess what? Since I switched, now, sorry, a loud truck is driving. Since I switched to Hoka, I have had zero stress fractures. Keeping in mind, I'm not running nearly as much as I was in college. In college, we were running anywhere from 85 to 105 miles a week. Yeah, it was insane. And sometimes we bumped up even higher than that. But here they are, the new Hoka's. No, I did not get these because of the color, even though I love the color and it matches the house paint a little bit. Bottom line is the Challenger ATR 2 Series from Hoka. Thank you, Hoka. We're gonna break them in tomorrow on Grays and Tories, two 14,000 foot peaks here in Colorado. Seek beauty, up in the mountains, work hard, painting the house, running mountains, if that's your thing. Maybe you work hard at baking cakes, maybe you work hard at uh, changing diapers. Yep, yeah, that's working hard in my book. And love each other. See you tomorrow.